Okay, welcome to Space Invaders tutorial part five. Uh, let's take a look and see what we have so far. So we have created our player turtle. We've got a an enemy, and we actually have a, a weapon that we can use. Well, we can fire. It just doesn't do much. So even if it hits the oops, missed him, missed again. Well, if I hit him, nothing happens. So that's what we're going to work on now is collisions. So basically, what we need to do is to determine whether two objects have collided we're going to use a very basic method uh, just basically checks the distance between two objects so if the distance between the bullet and the enemy is less than a certain amount we'll consider that a collision okay so to do this we're going to be using the pythagorean theorem so which is basically was it a squared plus b squared equals c squared okay so now since we have the x coordinates of our turtles we can use that turn that into a mathematical formula and determine the distance and determine the distance if the distance is less than a certain amount then we'll consider that a collision okay so what we want to do is we're going to create a function it's going to make this really easy for us Okay, so basically we're going to send the function, we're going to say, hey, check this turtle and this turtle. And based on those x and y coordinates, tell us the distance. If the distance is less than a certain amount, we'll consider that a, co a collision and return true. If it's not less than that distance, we'll consider that not a collision and make it false. So in programming, if we are expecting to return a true or false value, we usually just call it something like this, is collision. So is tells us that we're gonna be returning true or false. It's not a rule, it doesn't have to be done. Uh, it's just something that it's kind of convention. So to keep our code short, we're gonna say T1, T2. So turtle one, turtle two. So the distance equals math dot square root, okay, math dot pow. So it's T1, Oops, t1 dot x core minus t2 oops, t2 dot x x core comma squared so that is how we do it powers Just remember it's x squared plus b squared equals c squared so the square root of c Okay, so this is just again this is just Pythagorean theorem. So let's try it. So now we gotta add math dot power for the y coordinate t1 dot y core minus t2 dot y core squared. And I think that should do it. So if distance is less than 15, I've played around with it and 15 seems to be a pretty good number. Um, you might say oh, it's it's a little bit too strict. You can maybe make it 18, um, you know, whatever works for you. But let's, let's try 15 for now. Distance is less than 15, return true. So that is a collision. Else, if it's not, return false okay so one thing I forgot to mention is we need to import the math module so we can use those functions so let's take a look at that one more time it is distance equals the square root of the distance between the x coordinates and the plus the distance square of the distances between the y coordinates so then we've created the function, but we haven't called it yet. Okay, so let's check for collision between the bullet and the enemy. So enemy. Okay. So it's really simple. So we we've created this great function. So if I go if is collision, 
and we said bullet and the enemy. So if there's a collision, now we don't have to worry about how that works because we've, we, well we do because we we're programming it, but we're just going to basically be using this function. So if that happens, we need to reset the bullet. So bullet.hide turtle, because we're going to hide it, we don't need to see it anymore. We need to change its state. Now I don't need to do a global here because I'm not inside a function, I'm inside the main part of the program. So set it back to ready so we can fire it again. And I want to set the position to 0, minus 400. And what that does is that moves the bullet off the screen down to, so we don't have any problems with collisions later. So even if the bullet is hidden, uh, the collision code will still be running. So if we left it there, even though it was invisible, uh, enemies could run into it. And what we're going to do here is reset the enemy. In this case, what I want to do is I'm just going to move the enemy back to its starting position. So for now. And it was what? Minus 200, 250. Okay. So if there is a collision between the bullet and the enemy, hide the bullet, change its state to ready, and move it down to 0, minus 400. And the enemy, we're just going to move up to minus 200, 250. Okay, so let's run that and see if that works. Cancel, run a terminal, okay, missed, missed, okay, I'm not very good at this game. Sometimes it gets stuck there, just won't worry about that for now. Oh, okay, finally, we hit it. Oops, that's pretty clever. Oops. Okay, so we can see that the collisions are working now. Okay, so it's good. Now we need to do something if the enemy collides with the player. Okay, so it's very, going to be very, very similar. So if is collision enemy or player enemy. So player dot high turtle. enemy hide turtle because so we're just going to hide both of them and at this point I'm just going to basically print game over into our, our window oops to our terminal window and what I might do at this point is break so what this will do is break us out of this loop so the game's basically over and it'll go down to delay equals raw input Okay, so let's try that. Now, I don't want to wait until the enemy gets all the way down to the bottom. So what I can do is, while I'm testing, is set the position to, say, maybe minus, you know, 250 minus 200. So that'll start it out pretty close to our player. This is something you do when you're testing, because you don't want to wait. So you can see how it's close to that. Boom. So you can see back here, game over, press enter to finish. And that is that. So during this lesson, we have learned how to implement a very simple collision checking function. Um, there are other methods, uh, more complicated, more accurate actually, to be honest, use for now. Um, yeah, so let's stick with that. And again, down here, during each loop of the main loop, each iteration of the main loop, we actually check is there a collision between the bullet and enemy? Um, is there a collision between the player and the enemy? And based on that, we do certain things. Okay, so let's move this. We've tested that, so let's put this back up to 250 for our next lesson.